Do you have a congregation or a church? <laughs> a congregation or a church? Well, no, I feel there are too many churches already on the planet, I think. From the last count, I think there's seven or 8,000 Christian religious uh, churches on the planet of different denominations. I feel that that is totally unnecessary. I do not want to create another one. Um, so no, there are no churches uh, that, that I feel that I would uh, like to individually support. Mind you, I feel that I'd like to support every church. I would like to bring the principles of divine truth to every church, to every organisation on the planet, in fact, every political organisation, every religious organisation, every economic organisation, every business, all needs to learn to practise the principles of divine truth if we really want to have a very happy planet. So, so I feel there is no need for me to create another organisation of my own. Instead, what I would like to do is just continue sharing the divine truth that we've discovered to the world and, and any persons in the world who would like to follow that can follow that in any way that they see fit. If they are members of a religion, then follow it in their religion if they would like to continue doing that. If they are members of a political party, then can, you know, do it with the political party that they're in. If they are members of some kind of business, then do it in the business, practice truth in their business. That's the way we see divine truth sort of spreading throughout the world not by Mary and myself creating another organisation and another religious organisation. We are often also asked whether we have prayer circles or prayer meetings or, uh, and in fact people are often very confused when they come to one of my seminars because they sort of expect me to pray over everybody before I begin or things like that. And those kind of things will never happen because I believe prayer is an individual discussion between a person and God. It should not ever be imposed upon another person, I believe. So, so I, do I do not ever see myself in the future saying prayers on behalf of others or prayers on behalf of a group. Only, only I will continue to pray for myself as, and as I encourage everybody else to do. And I also continue to pray for other people but not in a formalised group based setting. I feel that all of those things are to do with control and also create a sensation of sort of holiness within the group of people. And, uh, and I feel that true holiness comes from practising love in your own personal life and having a relationship with God that's independent of any other person on the planet or in the spirit world. So, so in terms of will we ever set up a congregation or a church? No, we will never set up a congregation or a church. I feel in the end, the earth is already God's congregation. Every person on it is one of God's children. And all we need to do is learn to love one another better, as well as come to receive divine love in an active manner so that we can understand more truth.